NASA making a historic announcement today that the Voyager probe has entered interstellar space, that place between the stars. It's now out beyond the sun's heliosphere. When Voyager 2 executed its latest maneuver from the outer reaches of our solar system, the scientific community and the general public alike were caught off guard. After nearly five decades of relentless journeying, the spacecraft did something that defied expectations and left even the most seasoned experts astonished. It was a moment that crystallized the awe and unpredictability of space exploration, a reminder that the void beyond our planet is still filled with mysteries and that Voyager 2 remains a key to unlocking them. Before before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The spacecraft, launched in 1977, had already crossed the boundary of the heliosphere, the bubble-like region of space dominated by the solar wind, and was well into interstellar space. This feat alone was monumental, placing Voyager 2 in a realm previously untouched by human instruments. However, it was what happened recently that transformed this already legendary mission into something even more extraordinary. After a brief and worrying silence in 2020, 23, caused by a command error that knocked it off course, the probe managed to regain contact and then proceed to transmit a batch of data that stunned mission control. The contents of these transmissions suggested not only that Voyager 2 was still operational, far beyond the solar system, but that it had captured readings and performed functions no one believed possible for a probe that old, that distant, and that technologically ancient by today's standards. The surprise came in the form of data that detailed a region of interstellar space behaving in ways contrary to current astrophysical models. The probe had picked up a sudden shift in the density and composition of the plasma surrounding it, as well as anomalous magnetic field patterns. These changes weren't just slight, they were dramatic enough to hint at structures or phenomena entirely unknown to science. What compounded the mystery was that these patterns did not align with any previously encountered solar or galactic activity. Some of the readings resembled shockwaves, possibly remnants of ancient stellar explosions or even interactions between different interstellar clouds. Others hinted at pockets of exotic particles that could rewrite understanding of how matter behaves in the void between stars. The implications were vast. Scientists had long theorized about the nature of the interstellar medium, but Voyager 2's latest findings suggested that the void was far more dynamic and structured than previously believed. Instead of a quiet and uneventful region of space, interstellar territory may be riddled with invisible walls of force, sudden changes in particle density, and fluctuating currents of magnetic energy. The idea that such complexity exists outside the influence of any single star system challenges the foundational assumptions of cosmic structure and behavior. Even more impressive was the resilience of the spacecraft itself. Voyager 2 had been operating on power levels that could barely sustain its essential systems. With nuclear decay slowly eating away at its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, engineers had anticipated a graceful end in the near future. But somehow, the probe managed not only to maintain critical systems, but to execute a new set of functions that appeared to push its remaining capacity to the edge. How it managed to adapt, if that's even the right word for an unmanned craft with fixed programming, is still under investigation. Yet the fact that it responded to the environment with such precision, capturing valuable scientific measurements, adds another layer of mystery to the event. Equally baffling was the timing of this maneuver. It occurred just as a team of researchers on Earth had theorized the possibility possibility of boundary fluctuations in the heliopause, the border where solar wind meets interstellar medium, suggesting that Voyager the 2nd of May have encountered a ripple in that vast invisible sea. But the probe was supposed to be far beyond that point, and yet its data suggested a return or interaction with boundary-like properties. This paradoxical finding raised questions about the fluidity of space's edge. Could the boundary itself move? Could interstellar conditions mimic heliospheric phenomena? These are no longer idle theoretical questions, but immediate puzzles inspired by real data from a real spacecraft. Voyager 2's achievement also reignited debates about the future of space exploration, especially the value of long-duration missions. In an era dominated by high-tech satellites, short-term missions, and rapid iteration, the success of a nearly half-century-old probe reminded the world of the enduring power of persistence and vision. 
This was not a sleek AI-guided explorer. It was a machine built with 1970s engineering and a now archaic computer brain. Still ticking, still reaching, and still discovering. Its latest act was not merely survival, it was transcendence, a mechanical symphony echoing from the deep. Public response mirrored the scientific shockwave. As word of Voyager 2's performance spread, a renewed sense of cosmic wonder took hold. Social media buzzed with speculation, not only about what the probe had discovered, but what it meant for humanity's place in the universe. For some, it was a reminder of our potential for ingenuity. For others, it prompted questions about the nature of the universe itself. If the void beyond our star holds such secrets, what else lies waiting just out of reach? The shock extended beyond the physics. Engineers who had once worked on the original Voyager mission, some now retired, were brought back into consultation. The idea that their decades-old creation had just transmitted paradigm-shifting data turned them into overnight celebrities in scientific circles. One engineer likened the moment to hearing a faint whisper from a long-lost explorer who was thought to be gone, only to realize they had just made their greatest discovery. There was no mistaking the tone of awe in their reflections. Voyager 2 had done something no one dared to predict. What stood out most in the aftermath was how utterly unpredictable space had proven to be. Despite the best models, the most advanced simulations, and years of data from multiple missions, nothing had suggested that Voyager 2 was about to perform such a feat. There had been no buildup, no warning signs. It was as if the universe had saved one last surprise for the little spacecraft that could. And in doing so, it reminded reminded humanity that our understanding is still shallow, our reach still tentative, and our destiny still tethered to the stars. The nature of the recorded anomalies invited wild but compelling speculation. Some scientists even floated the idea that Voyager 2 had grazed the edge of an interstellar phenomenon as rare as it was powerful, perhaps the outer envelope of a dark matter clump, or the electromagnetic echo of a dead but once mighty star system. While such theories require caution, they underscore the sheer scale of unknowns that Voyager 2 is now helping to explore. Each piece of data is not just an addition to science, it's a provocation, a riddle carved into the dark by a silent machine millions of miles away. What made the entire event feel nearly mythic was the distance involved. The signals had traveled for more than 18 hours across the void at the speed of light just to reach Earth. That meant the astonishing moment had happened not today but almost a day ago in space-time, further emphasizing the alien nature of what Voyager 2 had experienced. Experienced. Humanity was receiving messages from a world utterly detached from anything we've ever known, a place so far removed from Earth that even the sun looked like just another star in the sky. Voyager 2 had done the impossible, not only by surviving and functioning well past its expiration date, but by sending back information that actively reshaped scientific understanding. It had proven that even in the most desolate and remote parts of space, there were forces, patterns, and energies worth studying. Far from being a tomb of silence, interstellar space was now revealed to be an active and perhaps even reactive domain. As new instruments on Earth and aboard other missions attempt to contextualize Voyager 2's findings, a new urgency has taken hold. Plans are already being discussed to send follow-up missions inspired by the probe's recent discovery. The goal would be to trace its path more precisely, to examine the anomalies in detail, and to probe the limits of the interstellar medium with better tools. But no matter how advanced these future missions may be, none will have the singular character or historic grit of Voyager 2, a craft built by hands that could couldn't have foreseen the 21st century, now leading us into the unknown. The moment redefined the concept of exploration. It wasn't just about reaching new places, it was about the depth of observation, the duration of effort, and the surprise of discovery. The spacecraft hadn't just flown further than any other, it had reached deeper, piercing the veil between prediction and revelation. It had done what no simulation could, it had shown the universe as it is, not as we imagine it. This wasn't a mere success of engineering, though that too was part of the celebration. It was a moment where philosophy, science, and imagination met. Voyager 2's impossible feat was a testament to the idea that some mysteries are too grand to be uncovered quickly, that some journeys demand the slow burn of patience. For decades, the probe had traveled through emptiness, and now that void had whispered back, not softly, but with a roar of complexity that no one saw coming. Humanity often seeks novelty in the form of new technologies and fresh missions, but sometimes greatness lies in the enduring. 
Voyager 2 proved that age and distance are not disqualifiers for discovery. On the contrary, they are the very essence of exploration. When the data arrived, the excitement wasn't just scientific, it was deeply emotional. It connected generations, bridged the past with the present, and reignited the ancient fire of curiosity that drove humanity to look up at the stars in the first place. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 2's impossible achievement? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.